What's up, Twitch? How you doing? How's your mom and them? How we doing tonight? Freaky Friday, y'all. Do I look cute? Tell me I look cute. Tell me I look fucking cute. How's everyone doing tonight? You me. Goodness. As soon as I start streaming, oh, my nose starts leaking. That's how it goes, I guess. Whatever. Let's play some Castlevania. Let's play some Castlevania. Today's seat is called Hell No. Because I ain't taking shit today. I ain't dealing with nobody's shit. I'm gonna fuck this, I'm gonna fuck this shit up. Let's get into it. Okay, here goes for a good Richter fight. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, right as the dubstep kicks in. Shit. Hello. About it. Come on. That's not bad. I'll take that. Ah, oh, shit. Balls me. I just fucked it up. Why do I always do that? <laughs> Reset. <laughs> Reset. I'm not doing that again. God, I gotta stop remembering to press triangle. That is not the right button for Rick Tor. Richter does not backdash. He does a he does a back jump. Totally screwed that up. That's okay. We'll go again. We're just getting started. I hope y'all like my improvements to the to the stream. So I expanded the uh, the border so you can actually see the game better. Yay! All right, let's just go, with Al. All right, let's do this. And I'm going to do a save state in case I screw it up again. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, I'll take that. Yeehaw! Let's go, Rick. Let's go, Rick. Oh, went too far. But enough talk, have at thee. Whoops. Get it? Oh shit, I fucked it up. Oh well. Ooh, can I dump them all? Oh shit. No. Ugh. Well, at least I didn't get hit. That's the thing, I suppose. Keep screwing up this fight. I'm just gonna have to take a day and just practice the Richter fight over and over and over again until I get it right. Oh my god. Whatever. We're in here. We're gonna do it. Let's do it. Oh, what's this? Healing armor? Healing armor? And a combat knife? What is this? Garbage. Oh my god. What is this? Ew. Okay. Stone mask. Yeah, walk armor. Black cape. Alright. Alright. That's not terrible, I suppose. Not terrible, just kind of disappointing. Ah! Ooh. Yeah, not very good armor. Ah! Oh, hello. I'm getting some gems. Or that was just not bad. Oh god, this knife sucks. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! No word, back off. Kind of tempted to just stay here and. Okay, I need to practice this spell. Obviously. Why does it not work? Why does it never work for me? Let's do it the other way. Jesus Christ. Mm, do the spell! Alucard. Oh, fucking whatever. Ugh. Killing me, Smalls. Can I do the spell? Alright, well, we can do that at least. That's something. I'm actually looking forward to the death, so you can take all this dumb shit away. Cheesy cake! Hi, death! You look well. You been dieting? Tee hee. Well, here's to a good seed. Ah, cheesy cake. No cheesy cake. And turkey. Oh, it's just all food. All food. We don't need food. We need a weapon and armor. Okay, spirit arm. Look, lame. Lame. Yeah. Life apple. Oh shit. That bone got me. Where are you, bone? Alright, just gonna punch our way through this crap. Keep on punch. More ink set. More food. We got plenty of food. Good lord. Oh shit. Okay, I'm not gonna fuck with you then. Bye. Jeez. Okay, we got a sword. Mirasame. Is it really? <laughs> I usually don't check this, but today I will. We'll check it today. Ah! Considering I am so low on freaking... I have only one sword. Hello. Yeah. Not worth it. Oh shit. I dodged him the first time and then he got me on this got me on the backswing. Little bastard. Yeah, okay. Let's go fight Simon and Garfunkel. Show the bitches what's up. Oh, shit. Hello. Hello. Get up there. A little laggy today, aren't we? Aren't we?
Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope. There we go. Uh, excuse you. Why did all the spirits go for the other one? Not you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, oh yeah. Elevator. Let's go to elevator. Yeah. All right. Why can I not do that freaking spell? Oh, air tightening. Battle lair. English Navy sword. Okay. Let's say more. Why am I just not? Why can I not get that? Is that means? Oh, it's noble. Alright, we got some gems for the library, which is helpful. There's Tetra Spear. See, we can do that just fine. Why can I not do Soul Steel? Some daggone reason. Whatever. be a tough seed y'all gonna be a tough one thank you for the crit what's this luck potion I could use some luck right about now oh hello gravity boots very nice. We love to see it. Oh shit. Not like that. Not like this. Not like this. Uh anything is that worth grabbing? Oh, it might be. Ah oh, shit. I don't know if I can get up there. Ooh. Oh come on. Ow. There we go. Oh shit. No. Come on. There you go. All right. All right. What did she? Oh, uh, mm. garbage. Shame. Shame. You hate to see it. Anything up there? Nothing. Oh, come on. Al, you're killing me. <laughs> I always say it like it's his fault. It's clearly my fault. I'm the one controlling Alucard. I just like to blame him for everything I do wrong. What is wrong with you, Al? Go! All 
right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm not going to go up there just yet. Even though I can, I want to. Daphne. Thanks for the money. I like money. What did you drop? Marcel? Sword of Ancient Rock. Garbage. At least we're getting sword drops. That's a that's some. Even if they are trash, I appreciate the trash. I appreciate the trash they give me. Oh shit. There we go. That's a three hitter. Oh. She almost got me. She almost stoned me. These weeds are getting me stoned. Tee hee. Magic missile. Oh, I can get this actually. Oh shit, maybe. No. Thank you. Actually a Falcon? Typical. What's bogging me down? Hold on. Okay, nothing else is running. Just feel slow for some reason. Maybe it was, uh, maybe it was Spotify. Although I'm not actually running Spotify, I'm running Soundtrack by Twitch for all these tasty tunes. It's supposed to be royalty free. Supposedly. If anything, it's Twitch safe. Not 100% YouTube safe, but you know. We take what we can get. It's free. Time to fight myself. My daily struggle. Oh, you would. You would. Thank you. Get wrecked. I'm gonna scoot your butts on out. Alright. Anything, anything over here? I guess there is. Ah oh, shit! Of course I would screw it up. Mm. Oh my god, I just realized I could have skipped that altogether, couldn't I? Sweet baby Jesus. Oh my god. Sometimes my brain just don't want to work good. Okay, to the library. Let's go do some library shit. Got some books to return. Hello. Get wrecked. Oh yeah, I don't have cubes on I don't know why I'm hitting lights. Habits. Blocking me. Whack a knife. I do like money. Oh, oh. There we go. 
get wrecked, little nerds. We got a hammer. And go ahead and get a life up out of the librarian. Because why not? That's not bad. I'll take that. Very nice. Getting some levels. So we're not a total chump. Alright, y'all gonna lag me. If I don't kill you, get wrecked. But who definitely don't want that? No fairy cards. Not need your little irritating pop up coming up every two seconds. Blocking my visions. Get, oh, come on. Ow. Get up there. You can do it. I knew you'd do it. I knew you could do it. Well, it's something. It says Chrysogram. It says Chrysogram. Uh, is it really? <laughs> no, it's a Vorpal Blade. Close. We'll take it anyways. We'll take it anyways. Why not? Might have to do a little bit more smashing. It'll be okay once we get a little more stats. Alright, let's sell some of these. Sell that. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. We got money. We got some money, honey. Skill of Wolf. Sure. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. I'll take a Mana Prism in case we stumble across a duplicator. Ooh, library card. Definitely get one of those at least. 400, nice and cheap. Um, should I go ahead and get a potion now? Let me see what else is down here first. Sort of a door. Executioner sword. Sword in. It's got a good it's got a decent stat. 68. Knuckles. A jewel sword. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Unholy dark shield. Fire shield. Let's get that. HP by fire damage. You don't say. Intelligence plus 10. Frightens enemies, lowers defense. Lightning damage. Ooh. Comfortable eye protection. Um, let's get that. And you know what? We should get one of those, but let's check the rest real quick. Gold plate, actually better than Alucard. Fire mail. Ooh. Okay, so of these three, 12, 50. This is the best one for sure. Let's grab that. Oh, very cool. Con plus three. Royal cluke. Seven. There's blood healing. There's stats after sunrise. Attack plus five. Strength plus five. Okay. Um, let's let's get two of those. Eight eight thousand. This is twelve. Wait, I have that. Okay. Just float. <laughs> All 
I'm, I'm thinking this is just going to be a better purchase. Yeah, let's get that. And then we'll get two sunstones. And top it off with... Let's get that potion. Oh, I can't. It's too expensive. That's okay. I will go ahead and get one more library card. Okay. Oops. Very nice. All right, let's check it. Check, check, check out my melody. Here we go. Herald Shield. Oops. Dark Clip. By your mail. Cloth Heap. And we'll just go ahead and put on these sunstones for when sunset does happen. Cool. Alright, we're moving. Is this. Does this have... No, okay. Does not. Alrighty, we're off. Oh, shit. Hello. You know what, maybe I should... Like... Maybe I should get a bit of a better sword going here. Hmm, yeah, let's go back to Saber. It's just stronger. It actually kills bad guys. Purple Blade's great and all, but it ain't no Chrysogram. Oh god, that was close. <laughs> you stay away from me. You stay away. Bad man. Can at least kill Durham's with one shit. One hit. One shit. One shit there. Is white hand there? Oh, is that a thrust sword? Two handed obsidian sword. Is that the Oh, it's a thrust sword. Oh, cool. Okay. That'll get us some places. Oh shit. You know what I can't do though? Is shield dash with this on, so that's okay. We'll take it off for now and just put it on when we need to use it. Rock and roll, here we go. Get wrecked. Inkstone. You don't say. Oh, strength of 15? Yeah, we'll take it. I'll take that. That got put in the 500,000 slot, the duplicator slot. <laughs> it's funny what ends up in there sometimes. Oh, holy symbol. Yes, ma'am. I'll take it. Ah, 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 Medusa, stop bullying me. No bully. No bully. Ah, there's nothing up here. Interesting. Oh, let's go ahead and open. Uh, wait. Yeah, let's just head back to the head back to the start and get the rest of the shit that we missed. Oops. Forgot I had a shield for a moment there. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, get over. Excellent. Oh, nothing in there. Hmm. Bummer. Uh, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and do a save. Let's do a save. <clears throat> Thank you. Do 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 do. Oops, shoot. <clears throat> you can both suck it. Thank you. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Where am I trying to get? Yeah. This way. Cheesy cake. Sword card. Crapola. Crappy crapola. Don't need it. Let's check this spot. It is empty. Totally empty. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Shit. Oh, uh, no, I have to go this way anyway, because I don't have infinite leap yet. Don't have flight just yet. I'm liking the Hulk colored cape, though. <laughs> Green and purple, yeah. Too soon. Here. There we go. Alright, what you got for me? Power of Mist. Ew. Gross. Alright, so we can check. Okay, let's. Yeah. Now we'll rush over to Colosseum. Get Rex, a little X boy, and away we go. Excuse you. Excuse you. Whew, nailed it. Didn't think I was going to make that. And here we are. I just got to believe. You got to believe. Make like Parappa the Rapper and believe. check this but I wanna hello I just wanna red brass heaven sword what you got for me oh it's the throwing ring okay red brass German two-handed all right 
Quite all right. So we can only check the downstairs of all rocks. Or not all rocks. What am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh yes, we definitely want that. There's flight. There is our flight right there. Oh, excuse you. Excuse you. Oh, rude. Burn out my own shield dashing. Brilliant mail, you say. Let's check that real quick. Ah, oh, mm. me. A la carte shit with bad stats. Oh, jeez. Guys, no. No. No! What the devil? What the devil? Ah, come here. No, ma'am. No. No means no. There we go. Get wrecked. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. Alright, let's go get this. Yay, Leapy Stone! Leaping Stone! Now I can go do Leapy stuff. Leap, leap, leaps. Leaps and bounds. We have the flight. Alright, so from here, I'm just gonna unlock Cathedral. And then we can go do. Go back to. The clock. Oh, what you got for me? Cutlass? Cutlass Supreme? Light Cavalry Sword. <laughs> Slightly better. Nah. Let's keep our saber. It increases with gameplay. Supposedly. We shall see. Uh, wait. Which way do I want to go? Eesh. Let's just go this way. Go back the way we came. Hello. Hello. Yeah, right. Ah. All right. Feeling good, feeling great. Feeling great, feeling good. How are you? That took way too many hits. I'm just gonna jump over this freak. Oh God, come on, come on. Sliding past this nonsense. Let's go ahead and open this bitch. She's open. Open for business. Alright, here we go. Life. A little life. And we got a talisman. It's probably just syllable. Yep. More life, okay. Won't say no. Won't say no to it. Mm 
Get up there. There we go. Go ahead and do a save a roo. Save a rooney. We all know I love to die so often. Anything in here? Eh, nope. Pudding. Garbage. Oh shit. Go. Velvet hat. Okay. Fairy card. Mm, sure. We'll get fairy card going. She's actually useful. The only useful familiar in the game besides demon card for that one check. The one check. Let's just open this shit up and should we Yeah, let's go from here to upper. At least I don't have to go through clock tower. Back off. Back off. Do not be fucking with me. Young lady. You are not fucking with me. I mess you up. I fuck you. Wreckage, 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 wreckage. Okay, let's go fight this bitch. This big bitch. There we go. Easy peasy. Get out of there, it's lagging. Oh shit. Turn my back on him. Didn't mean to do that. Wait, is that. That's confession room, isn't it? Okay, there's some blood. So we're gonna go pick that up. Just gonna go pick that up real quick. Shield dashing sucks right now. There we go. Alright, beautiful. Teleporter's open. Yeah, let's check over here. Yeah. Yep. We good. Alfred Hitchcock, the birds. The flea birds. Ugh. Ugh. Get out of here. Lee boys. Wait, Lee Oh, it's a silver ring. Okay. 
too, DK. You look lovely today. Oh, thank you, honey. I appreciate that. I felt like getting a little bit cute tonight. Just a little cute. Oh, shit. How are you doing, Tooth? How's your Friday going so far? Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Whew. Thought that guy was going to knock me around. Yay, there's an eye of lad. You'll love to see it. And an ice brand. All right. Does this have any stats? It does not. What about this ice brand? Sword of M. Literally an ice sword. That's cool. We'll take it. Doing well. Doll and I have a show binging date tonight, so I'm excited. Oh, fun. That sounds cute. What kind of shows y'all going to be watching? <laughs> yeah. Uh, should I go up this way? Yeah, let's just go inside. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there. This will do a savey thing. Wait. This isn't a save. This is... This is this idiot. Oh, why did I come in here? I didn't have to do this at all. That's fine. Gonna watch a new season of Love, Death, and Robots. We finished the first one just in time to catch the new season. Cute! Um, Love, Death, and Robots. I have not seen that show. What is that show about? It sounds like an anime. Is that anime? That could be the subtitle for, like, Evangelion. <laughs> Love, Death, and Robots. <laughs> yeah, let's save it up. It's a bunch of incredible sci-fi, sort of animated shorts with all kinds of fantastic twists. Ooh, I'm into that. That sounds like something I would enjoy very much. I like robots. They're neat. And I love animated anything. Anything animated, I'm into it. Turquoise. Looks like dynamite. And a oh, shitty card. Nope, we don't want shitty cards. Oh, we should check it out. Oh my god, it's probably my favorite series I've started in a while. Far out. Um, where can I watch it? May I ask? Uh, let's see. Okay, I guess we're done up here for now. What we can do is... We only got three checks. It sucks. So we better find some. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's go rush over to... Yeah, I'll go to the spine real quick. It's on Netflix. Okay, far out. I... I haven't had Netflix in a while. My account got shut off in a little bit. You know what? Let's just do this while we're here. Wait. No, just kidding. I don't want to do this just yet. Get in there. Get in the hole, Alucard. I'll find a way to watch it. I'll find a way. There's all kinds of uh, alternative methods to watch shows, after all. Tee hee. It is the internet. Oh shit! Oh no! Medusa head, stop bullying me! No bully! No bully! All right, get your get your cute ass up there. Let's go! Let's go! So far, my night has sorry to, I missed that question. My night has been going wonderful so far. Not a whole lot going on right now, so thought I'd pop into the stream and do some Vanya. And depending on how quickly I beat this. Oh good, good check, good check. I might jump into another game I haven't played in a while. I'm thinking either Dead Cells or Blasphemous. Because I haven't, I haven't given them a fair shake in, in a little while. 
All right, let's go back to um, a clock. Honestly, there's probably everywhere. I'm pretty sure for the first episode on YouTube, and I was super stoned. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yeah, sometimes um, the uh, people get away with posting copyright and shit, and it doesn't get like immediately banned, so it stays up for you know just a minute or two. Hell, there used to be a Twitch tr stream that uh, only played retro anime. Unfortunately, it got shut down. It got docked. Um, but for the longest time, it would just play like it would play the entire season of Cowboy Bebop. Uh, it would play like old Robotech, Matt Cross, just a whole bunch of classic anime streams. And I would just put it on just like 24 7. I would just leave it on. Such a shame, but holy shit, what a solid stream. Yes, it was literally my favorite Twitch stream. Because it's like at any given moment, I could be watching some cool ass 80s, 90s um, animes. The good stuff. Not that I don't like new anime, there's just something really wonderful about nostalgic old school anime. I think it's the animation style and quality. And, you know, it's all still hand drawn cells. And that's just so neat to me. That is just like, what an art form. Uh, yeah, there we go. New enemy is solid, but nostalgic enemy just hits different. Yes, it does. It hits different, doesn't it? Like, it's not quite as bright. It's not quite as flash. I like the tone, the color tones too. It's like, the colors are usually more pastel. They have like a lighter look to them. Oh shit. It's especially evident in like old, like original Sailor Moon episodes versus Sailor Moon towards the end. Like that was the era it started to change. You could see like the animation improved and the colors got different. They got like richer and brighter. There's something about those like those old pastel colors that I really find I just lovely. I just think they're lovely. Ooh, this improves everything. Yes, we'll definitely take that. Right now, no, Joseph's cloak. Oh, this is the heart cloak. Nah, we don't need it. Okay, what's this? All right, that's it. That's it for now. Literally, Sailor Moon, yeah, they have a softer vibe, right? Sailor Moon was exactly what I thought of with those soft, cute colors. Yes! Okay, this is a another card. Oh man, everything's gonna be... Ugh, everything's gonna be in second tower. I can just, I feel, I have a feeling it's gonna suck. Uh, from here, I want to go back. Yeah, let's go back up. Ugh, crap. I gotta go all the way to entrance. Ugh. Uh, whatever, it's probably gonna be freaking holy glasses. It's gonna be like, haha, fuck you, you have to go to the second castle. There's just something warm about those those old animes. It's just I find so much more appealing the new anime. <laughs> I don't have to fight you, but I guess I will. Speaking of which, let's just, there we go. Let's just jump over you. <laughs> That's what I should have done the first time. Let's just jump over your dumb ass. Oh, here's something cool I did today. Check this out. I made from scratch biscuits for the first time. These are from scratch and they're really good. Mmm, homemade biscuits. Nothing beats homemade biscuits. I think they're so good. Oh, wait, am I in the right place? Yep, okay. They're perfectly crisp on the outside and soft and fluffy on the inside. And you know that like, I don't drink regular milk, so I use soy milk, which I thought would be a problem. They're fantastic because they have like a little bit of sweetness it's the vanilla soy milk so there's like a little bit of sweet flavor to it oh man it's just so killer 
Ooh, what's that? I want it. I want it! Ah, oh, shit. Fucked up my, my launch. Oh, jeez, what are you doing? Ow. Why do you keep getting... There we go. Okay. Marcel? Oh, do I already have this or something? I do have this already. Boo. Love a good homemade biscuit, right? How could you not? You, they're like... There is not blood flowing in your system if you don't like homemade biscuits. Oh my god, there's nothing in here. What a sham. And it was super easy to do. Like, I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. I'm a cook. Like, this, I should have been doing this for years. <laughs> I am a literal a cook. Oh god, these zombies, I swear. Zombie, stop it. I'm just gonna have to do this. There we go. All right, let's just jump over there. I am from the South. You better believe it, girl. I'm a Georgia peach through and through. I was born in Georgia and raised in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, and I'm, when I say girl, I mean like everyone. Everyone's a girl for me. I feminize everything, so. <laughs> That rock, it's a girl. That tree, it's a girl. Hey, girl. Everyone's girl. Fucking John Wayne. Hey, girl. I don't give a fuck. Yes, and it's so funny because my parents used to make from scratch biscuits all the time. And I, like, it never, like, dawned on me to, like, learn their recipe. I grew up eating, like, from scratch biscuits. Like, that's just totally normal southern shit. And I finally, like, decided, because I had flour, and I was like, hmm, what am I going to do with all this flour? Oh, I guess I'll fucking make biscuits. Okay, we got Wolf Boy. We got a Wolfie. Which means we can go do all rocks. Oh, excuse you? I don't think so. No, ma'am. Ugh, I don't have power over Wolf, do I? That's what I do have. Okay. I have the wolf fireball move, but not the actual running. Ugh! Jesus! Zombies! Die, zombies! It's like a Romero film in here. Get the fuck out! Alright, where am I trying to get? There's only one place I can get. It's all Roxas quarters. Figures. Typical. That's what I was thinking. I love my southern queers. I'm Georgia born and raised, so I appreciate queer queer people from similar backgrounds. Yes! Yeah! I'm telling you, southern queers are where it's at. Um, there is so much history and, like, struggle and depth that comes from southern queers over other parts of the country. And I know this for a fact, because I lived in um, California for a while. And while I was there, I thought it was really strange that everyone is very, everyone was just like immediately open and accepting of queer people. And there was no like contention, there was no beef. And they're like, you tell people they're gay and they're like, cool. <laughs> like there's like no, there's no like, there's no struggle for them. And so the queers over there have a very different mentality than Southern queers because most of us have been raised in some kind of, let's say, contention. You know, there's there's been some kind of conflict in our upbringing, like, especially being raised in the Bible Belt. Um, I, you know, listened to the preacher man, you know, preach about how gays are going to hell and he wishes that he could just round them up and put them on an island somewhere and shit like that. And I had to listen to this as a, you know, as a young, impressionable queer person. And for the longest time, I believed it. I believed that, like, God made me wrong and shit like that. And I deserved punishment and I deserved hell. And it's just, it, it, it fucks with you. But when you, when you reject that teaching, reject that knowledge, like, it makes you a stronger person. It made me a stronger person, for, for sure, to be more perseverant. And it also makes me more accepting of other 
of other, you know, other folks, whereas the church is just canonically racist and bigoted um, throughout history. Literally, I'm always like, wait, whenever folks are just like, oh, cool, you're gay, nice. Yeah, it's a shocker, isn't it? Because there's like, it's not what we're used to. It's not the, uh, the, the immediate like phobia that gets wrapped up in our oh shit uh, oh, ah, uh. Oh. okay focus time real quick Lorox is bullying me oh shh no all rocks okay here we go come on touch spirit come on do it do it! Oh, fuck. Oh. Well, at least he doesn't hit that hard. Jeez. Ah, Just irritating. There we go. There we go. We got him. We got his ass. Alright, I'm gonna take this off because I'm getting warm. Getting a little warmish. Oh, my hat! My hat's falling off. You know what? Ugh. Yeah. I was just gonna let it go, but it held on. Good for you, hat. Let's get rid of this guy. Come here, hat. Let's fix you. Alright, that's better. Okay. I feel like shit I had to face around me was as a per um, has rounded me out as a person because I went through all that shit. Thank God, at least I became a person because of it. Yes. Um, when you go through, I call it like our trial by fire. It's it's like all right, we have Jewel of Open, which means we're going to caverns. It makes you more resilient, you know. Um, you, get, you get thicker skin for it, right? Because you you don't put up with anyone's shit anymore. And not to say anything against the queers, you know, out west, it's just like, it's just different from them because they haven't had any kind of real struggle, I feel like. They don't really understand what the struggle is. And so coming back to the south, I was so relieved to be like, oh my god, you guys get it. <laughs> like, y'all get it in ways that other people just don't get it. And it's such a comfort to be, you know, back around um, people who are like me, who understand what we've been through. Where should I go from here? Hmm. I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm just gonna fall back through the cracks and do that. I feel similar strength and passion in my uh, southern queer friends because they've had to fight. We, oh, we have to fight to be us. We have to fight to be ourselves. And you know, a lot of these things I learned about queer culture and you know, where all of our cool shit comes from, like balls and drag and shit like that, that all really stems from the black queer community. And that, we have to recognize that, like on point, we have to recognize that, say it out loud, recognize it, just in like, in the fact that we have to recognize that black people invented rock and roll, T, like, if you don't recognize that and if you don't if you're not like celebrating it you're wrong <laughs> you know like the, the whole reason we have drag as a modern art form is because of black queer balls that started in new york city um well got popular in new york i should say because they happen all over but specifically they you know it stems from East Coast, East Coast queers, um, especially black people, black folks, who we stand for eternity. So it really gets my goat when I come across like racist queers. It just like blows my freaking mind. I'm like, do you understand that being queer in America and all the cool shit we have, you know, 
the cool culture that we have of it is due to black queers. <laughs> Little Richard, hello. <laughs> like, this goes back farther than you think. Uh, yeah, I do want to go this way. Very that. Oh my god, I wish queer history was taught more here, but especially the POC queer history. Yes. Well, you can't, you know, you can't have one without the other. Like, um, not only should we be promoting more. What's that? Do I already have that? Oh yeah, I sure do. It's trash. Um, oh yeah, this is the spot. This, I'm going the right way. You can't have one without the other. You can't have queer history without black history because they're intertwined. It's this, you know, it's it's all the same story. Didn't know any queer history who sent out the involvement of black and other PSC queer folks until I got into college and started learning more stuff of my own. See, that's the T. And you wouldn't really, you wouldn't really know unless, you know, you grew up in it. Um know who the fuck you know Marsha P. Johnson is uh Twilight Cloak you say any good nope but we got a mana prism so that's cool I might be useful later on um I didn't really start diving into it till I moved back to the south um I learned more about Atlanta's queer history of things like why we celebrate uh, Pride in October and that was because of the raids that took place in the 80s the um, was there, there was a specific movie theater here in Atlanta that queers would go to to watch you know interesting films and police would regularly fucking raid it and that became an, a thing that was an issue so that's why when when those, when that community started to fight back, that's when uh, queer started making headlines here in Atlanta. And of course, it was during the gay AIDS panic. You know, the AIDS pandemic. So there was like layers of history right, right there, right in front of everyone. That's not Kingstone. I guess we'll take that since our sunstones aren't working yet. It's still not, still not sunrise. It might not be for a while. Hiya! Uh, do I want to? Yeah. There we go. Let's go fight the sexy succubus. There really should be black history and queer history in schools taught in American history class. That should just be incorporated, period, point blank. It should be in there. Because you cannot have an accurate American history without black history. And schools have been getting away with it for years and that shit needs to stop. We need to educate the youngins Okay, I picked up something cool. What did I pick up? Poisoned Executioner Sword. Not actually a Warble Blade. Hmm. Lowers my defense, but... Transforms in... Oh, it's the... Uh... Oh, interesting. This has really good damage. And it's... A... Okay, alright. We'll see. Let's fucking... Let's fuck with it. Let's see what's up. We got a diamond plate. Meh. Meh. We're good. This really is a jewel sword. I'll be goddamned. Alright. It's kind of short though is the only problem with it. I knew nothing about the AIDS crisis in the gay community until I got into college. Like, none of my schools ever thought that that was worth teaching and it fucks me up so much. Isn't it true? Like, so many, especially gay men, there were so many gay men that died of AIDS. And Reagan just straight up let them. He's like, God is judging you. You know, you can... <laughs> Isn't it so fucked up? 
how much shit our government like will deem important like what is important and what isn't and you're like seriously this is kind of a big deal <laughs> thousands of fucking people died from this thing and they covered it up because they're like oh god's punishing you you deserved it which is like the most disgusting thing ever because I'm pretty sure Jesus Christ wouldn't say some shit like that. But then again, you don't actually have to follow the words of Christ to be a good Christian. Apparently. <laughs> don't tell my mom I said that. Sorry, mom. Mom's a good Christian. Mom follows Christ. She's not a filthy hypocrite. Hearing folks in the beginning of Corona talk about how this is the first pandemic in hundreds of years had me triggered. Oh, for real. Good lord. It's like, uh, yeah, there's been lots of pandemics, but we live in America and people are straight up ignorant. And they, like, they revel in their ignorance. This hasn't happened in a hundred years. Um, A, <laughs> you're wrong. B, there's, like, lots of diseases that happen on a regular fucking basis that just don't get the media coverage that um, American media will have you fucking believe that everything is normal and wonderful and great and it's just straight up lies it's really wild there we go get out of town get out of here lady what do we got goggles Yep, we got holy glasses. Okay. So, I suppose we'll go ahead and do the rest of our cavern checks. But we do have second castle access now. Looks like a silver ring. And so, the only way to like fix that is you just, we gotta educate the kids. We gotta educate them, we gotta let them know. But then again, there are people out there who straight up don't want to be educated. They don't want to hear it. They think that their opinion is the only opinion, and that's that on that. And you're just like, mm, okay. So, hold on. I don't like this sword. I'm going to go back. Let's go back to this. Poison Executioner Sword. Okay. I like this one better. This one's fast. This one swings faster and has got a little bit more range. Uh, oh, I can't do this check just yet because I don't have freaking Merman statue. Very much look forward to the day when queer history is taught in schools. Me too. And not just a freaking college elective, but actually taught. I think one day we'll get there. I, th I really do. I really, well, I really hope so. I think that. As generations change and as old bigots die off, you know, it, we will see changes in the future, you know. I, I certainly hope so, anyways. I know, you know, millennials are collectively tired of, just tired of boomer shit. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, I roll. Okay, boomer has got to be the phrase of the freaking century. We are just so collectively tired of your ignorant shit. It's, it's, you know, what's really sad is like, here's what's got me fucked up, is that throughout history, older generations have always been the more intelligent, have been revered as more intelligent, wiser, wiser, smarter, stronger for having the knowledge and the experience. But these days, it seems like that has gotten flipped somehow. That. The older generation chose to remain ignorant and they chose to not have experiences, life-changing experiences. And 
millennials and younger generations are just are having to school older people all the time because they're living their life with blinders on for some reason. That's what it feels like. I know just from my own experience, like I joined the Marine Corps when I was young and I went to war immediately. You know, at the age of 21, 22, I was in Iraq and I, I served three tours overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan. And even then they were like looking up to my superiors who had, they had served most of their time during peacetime during the eighties and nineties where there was only a few conflicts and so their their knowledge of their actual knowledge of war was only book smarts it was only what they read in books you know and so the younger ones became the experts really quick like the corporals and sergeants were running were really the ones running the show because those were the ones with the most experience the most war the actual war experience um and i feel like the same is true of just that generational gap that generational difference this is the largest generational gap i feel we've ever had in america i think we're on the way for sure with how old people uh, are now, I think we're well on our way to queer history being acknowledged and accepted like we deserve. Yes, I believe it's really just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Because um, as I've been ranting that like, I feel like young folks, especially with the the knowledge of the that the internet can provide, like young people have a greater ability to discern bullshit online we know what a troll is you know we all know that that there's misinformation that there's people who are they'll they'll make shit up just for a laugh and then older folks can't discern between what's true and what's not they they kind of take it all at face value and they believe kind of everything they hear and you're like guys <laughs> like where is your wisdom like that's that's not how this works. You can't just listen to everything Alex Jones tells you and think that it's fucking true. Like, use your brains, guys. But they refuse because they, they'd rather get in their feelings about it. There's there's a lack of emotional intelligence in our in our older communities. That's why it's so hard to relate to older folks that like kind of get stuck on these pedestals you're like guys the world is a lot bigger than you think it is there's a lot more cooler shit than just usa is number one like number one in what poverty like i don't know <laughs> you... we're not buying that shit anymore I'm always interested whenever you talk about uh, your time serving because it, like it's so far out of where my life will ever go probably because uh, I don't know I appreciate your appearance okay oh well, thank you thank you yes it's um gosh I I'm glad I'm out I'll say that much I'm glad I'm out I had my fill I was only in for eight years um but I definitely got I got ex exactly what I signed up for <laughs> It took a toll on me too. It really did. Um, I have PTSD that I still deal with and get treated for to this day. Um, I have war injuries, combat injuries that show up years later. And I would not recommend the military for anyone. I think the military, I think war, I think the military, here's the thing. I think the military is great. I think war is fucking awful. Like, I like the discipline and the structure of a military, but actual war fighting is just awful. It's just, it changes people. People die, straight up. People die. That's what war is. And war is about death. Um, but I loved all the camaraderie that I had from it. 
the sense of hmm that's yeah, just not bad that's pretty good actually what else did i just pick up does this have good stats it does not this guy nope 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 it's sellable sellable okay I used to live with a veteran who was never active duty, but was a sociopath and was homophobic. So I just didn't appreciate hearing the way he talked about that kind of shit. Yes. Um, those boys are rampant. Um, God, and especially I was in during Don't Ask, Don't Tell. So, I mean, it was kind of like this reach, this, the reach around gay, we called it. Like, you can be gay in the military, you just can't tell anyone. That was the whole, that was the deal. Don't ask, don't tell. Cross sure again, heart. And I heard every kind of homophobic rant there ever was. If some guy hit on me, I'd beat the fuck out of him. And you're like, why? Because he thinks you're attractive, you're gonna hit somebody for that? And they're like, yeah, they absolutely would. And some guys would even brag about it, like, it's like, yeah, some faggot hit on me and I beat his ass. And you're like, you're an idiot. You are such an idiot. But I knew going into the military, that was the deal. And it was also my intent to get tough. Like, I went in with the intent to get tough because I was tired of being bullied. I was tired of getting pushed around and tired of people calling me faggot and I was like let the, let someone fucking call me faggot now they're gonna get a fist right upside their head and it's happened before like I don't not that I promote violence but I promote the fuck out of defending yourself and not letting bigots get the best of me because this faggot fights back god damn it <laughs> like that's the message we hit back motherfucker stop being an idiot there we go okay time for Ngumphaloo uh should I switch to hmm. kind of thinking should I switch over to kind of do kind of don't want to switch over Let's go, okay, let's switch to Vorpal Blade, and hopefully we can get in a... Ugh, can I pull this off? Ah, get him! There you go, chop him up, chop him up! Brr, gotta kill the Gonfaloon! The Gonfaloon! Yes, we got him, okay. Easy fight, easy fight. Okay, what's our reward? Better be something good. It's um echo. Blech. Well then, I guess that's a thing. The only thing left is Merman. Uh... Okay. That's that on that. I guess I could have done a save split, but. Whatever. It's cool. I like video games. Let's check out what's over here real quick. Garbage. Get wrecked. Thankfully, there uh, the military is making a lot of strides, especially the um, the latest 
change to allowing transgender veterans. Um, that's a huge freaking victory in my book. I swear to you, like, had I understood my trans identity at the time, I would have been I would have been one of the first ones to be like, "Yep, give me a ladies' uniform. I'm trans." I would have been the first in line. Because, honestly, I felt, I've always felt more comfortable and more safe around my ladies, around my girlfriends, than I ever did around a group of fucking white dudes. Ever. Because that whole group of fucking testosterone-driven assholes is just a recipe for fucking disaster. Ooh, I can totally not check that yet. Ugh, that's kind of annoying. Which means I might have to come back down here. That's alright. What you gonna do? I want some more biscuit. Well, that keeps trying to fall off. <laughs> Well, I mean, I could put it on, I could put the, the little band under my chin, but I feel like it chokes me. It's like, low-key trying to choke me out. <laughs> this is the way you're supposed to wear it, but I'm like, mm. I don't want to get choked. I don't like that feeling. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh no. Oh sh um oh yeah, we're we're fine. We're on the right path. Do I have demon card? Should I even bother with this? I do not. Okay. We're not gonna bother with it. At all. Zip, 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 zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh, oh, you know, the, the truth is that, like, the most successful um, military personnel are sociopaths. Literal sociopaths. Because you can't be in your feelings. You can't be up in your feels when you're killing people. And if you, ha if you don't regard human life, then... It's easy for you. Some of the greatest, uh, some of the greatest fighters of all time were absolute sociopaths. Monster vial. Resist fire. Is there anything up here that I want to check? Nah. Screw it. Anything in here? Anti-venom. Garbage. <laughs> hey -ya. Oh, shit. Anything up here? Meh. Meh. I'll show you something interesting. <laughs> Had to duck out for a minute to help a friend. Well, aren't you a good friend? And welcome back. Thanks for coming back. We stand a friend in need. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Oh shit. Stay. Stay, you. This is my Sunday hat. My fascinator. Isn't she fascinating? Anything down here? I should I should be looking at Hiya Says Dark Blade. Oops. But is it really a dark blade? Forged by all that's luminous. Luminous. 
I'm digging my Vorpal Blade, it's fine. Ugh, another card. Alright, well, that means it's off to the second castle. Happy to be back. I need to see uh, what Dalt is up to that we can chat to. <laughs> get them in chat, yeah! Tell them to get their cute tuckets thrown in here. Get your cutie booty in here. Come chat me up. I guess I'll go this way. Yeah, this is fine. Um, cause we're going, we're rushing to... Richter fight. Time for Richter fight. Time to fight the shaft. And you know what else? Um, since we're since we're kind of on the topic of military, um, I've been having to go to the VA race recently for my arm. Um, this this past week, I had to go back for to to get a new ID card and just you know some administrative type things and. Every time I've gone to the VA in the past, I, I kind of butched up a little bit, you know, I kind of dude it up just to not really deal. I did because I didn't want to deal with mother. I just didn't want to deal with the looks. You know what I mean? I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to get the stares and the looks and stuff. But this time when I went, I just said, screw it. I'm going to be my authentic, genuine self. And I presented that uh, femme. And I just wore some cute like short shorts and a little um and a nice like uh sleeveless blouse i was just looking cute feeling cute put on a little just my like little eyeliner and you know it was so wonderful nobody gave me shit at all i mean the whole place is crawling with veterans from head to toe there's so many freaking veterans at the va uh oop, did i pass it i passed it didn't i i did and no one batted a freaking eyelash and everyone was super wonderful and super sweet to me and i was just like oh what a relief what a relief not to say that they're you know i might have gotten a side eye here you know once or twice but for the most part i even even one of them called me ma'am and i was like bless you child bless you thank you so much you made my day. <laughs> i should have told her she made my day because like she called me ma'am um and that just lit me up. I just like, oh, thank God, you know, people are starting to get it. And I think people are coming around because there's been so much talk about trans folks that it's it's starting to become a normal thing. And that was my whole, that's our whole goal. We just want to be normalized. We're just like, we're just regular human beings doing regular human being shit. And some of us happen to be veterans, right? Um, in fact, I bet there's a good number of trans folks that are that are veterans you know i don't have a statistic or anything but i bet there's more than we think and now that um now that all that's coming into into light and people are getting more aware of it and more educated about it i think it's less of a big deal than it used to be like 10 years ago and that is such a huge relief let me tell you what a relief So proud of you, uh, me scary presenting how you want an environment where you feel the pressure to keep up facade in that that part, that part. Um, so happy for you. Thank you. Getting gender correctly, it's so hard. It just hits so hard. <laughs> just like put a little tear in my eye. I was like, thank you. Bless you. <laughs> you are wonderful. And it just, uh, you know what else it did? It gave me the confidence to just be like, I'm just going to. I'm going to be my authentic, genuine self all the time, everywhere I go, because there, I should never have that feeling of like, I should look a certain way because no one can tell me how to dress. No one can tell me how to look. Um, and if it makes you uncomfortable, that has more to do with you than it ever did with me. That's just the tea, hunty. Here we go. That's the one I want. 
Okay. Richter fight. Richter fight. Do the thing. Do the do the thing. A card. Do the Why do I suck at spells? Fine, I'll do it the do it the, the hard way. <laughs> I have to slash. Being a being a thing is terrifying sometimes, but like so good. Yes, because I I when I feel good, when I look good, I feel good. That's always been, you know, when I can look in the mirror and be like, yes, hunty, you know, that makes you feel good. Everybody wants that feeling to look good. And especially when I'm presenting my true authentic self and to not get shit for it. It's just, oh man, that's like, I've waited my whole life for that, for that relief of that pressure relief. It's like we were saying before, living in the South. Living in the Bible Belt can just can be a real challenge sometimes, a real chore. And well, you know what? When I came back, when I came back to the South, very much that my facial hair has been growing in more lately. People have been treating me more like a man. And wow, I'm mean, amazing! Congratulations! I'm so happy for you. That's wonderful. Um, getting those affirm those little affirmations are just so wonderful. Or if, you know what I feel like is such a huge victory when someone asks my pronouns. Because, you know, I am very clearly, I dress very feminine and I look a certain way and I like to wear makeup and it just gives me such a charge when someone actually just straight up asks, what are your pronouns? I'm like, oh. I was like, thank you for asking, A. <laughs> my pronouns are she, her, the, they, them. Um, I think that's such a huge victory in and of itself because it, you know we've always made assumptions all of our life um we're all we're, we're all programmed to you know, like especially in the south you're you're raised on yes ma'am no ma'am yes sir no sir that that has never left my vocabulary, right? I've always been polite in that respect. Um, so I don't want to misgender anyone, you know, because I'll, I'll slip with the yes sir, yes ma'am. It'll just roll off the tongue unless I know better. But I, I caught myself, you know, with my own trans identity i caught myself with the yes ma'am no ma'am yes sir no sir stuff i was like oh i need to uh i need to be careful how i just kind of throw that around because i myself i'm a queer a trans but i should be mindful of that for all of my peeps okay you can stop that now there we go. You die. When folks care about using pronouns respectfully. All day, right? Folk, hi Shia. How's it going tonight? How you doing? How's your freaky Friday going? Actively uh, get myself to stop saying ma'am and sir because I'm not into this binary stuff. But also that was raised to say ma'am and sir also. Oops. My, uh, my thing just died. Hold on. I think it died. I don't know. That's, this is why I switch ears. Ah, there we go. That's better. Haha. -ha. Okay. Now then, where do I want to go from here? I want to rush right, don't I? Uh, right, it's 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 hard to break the binary, um, being having southern manners. Ah, shit, fucked it up. What you got? Oh, anti venom. Good, I got a new job. Uh, a salary with overtime one. Oh, a salary and overtime. That's awesome. Congratulations, Shia. That's super good news. Gosh, 
A career? What, what is that? Uh, is this a duplicator? It's a duplicator. Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. Oh, that's great. Okay. Now we've got like unlimited access to everything now. Uh, oh, I'm just unlocking the thing, right? That's super exciting. God, I need one of those. <laughs> I need a I need a salary. I've been a gigger my whole life. I gig. I could, well, I'm a cook. That's you know that's what I put on my taxes now. So that's what I am. Um, but if you're not working in a high-end restaurant, then it's just it's a gig. It's just a gig. I don't make. You know, I'm not guaranteed 40 hours a week by any means. What did I just pick up? Hey, what's these secret boots? Oh, those literally are secret boots. Okay. Oh, Dark Shield. Oh, that raises... Okay. Cur Abyssian Curve Sword. That's a pretty good stat. Too bad it's tiny. <clears throat> Um, okay, this is the same. I have a class A CDL. Class A CDL. Is that a, um... Is that a driving thing? Do tell, Shia. Do tell. What is that? Class A CDL. Oops. Oops. Oh. Oh, ah. Yar, take that, take that. Okay, time to fight Medusa. Let's go, Medusa. Correct. Got her. I petrified. Now we might as well just wait. Yeah, heart of lad. I work 12 days on two off home every day. It works seven to three, drive four and a half miles from pickup to drop. Oh, wow. Truck driver. Okay, okay. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a great job. Hell yeah. Um, I know lots of folks that are truck drivers. Uh, in fact, I did a play with a... Uh, an actor who was also a truck driver. He loved it. He absolutely loved it. He wanted to save up for his own rig. He's like, that's my dream to have my own rig. And, you know, just freelance, do my thing. Cause he was working for a company. He's like, I just want to be my own, my own driver with my own rig. And that's very much a like be your own boss kind of thing. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Shit, maybe I should look into truck driving. I don't know. <laughs> I don't consider myself the best driver. I mean, I have a good record. I am a good driver. I am a good driver. Oh, whoops, this is spike room. Can't do that yet. I just don't trust myself with that giant truck, though. Oh, man, that just sounds... It just, like... And you know what? I know what it is, too. Is because the very first car wreck I was in when I was like seven or eight years old was when I got hit by a semi. Me and my family got hit by a semi on, oh god, this is going to be tough. Ah, crap. On the freeway. And it was traumatizing. <laughs> traumatizing. I still get nervous around semis when I'm driving on the, the highway. Get, get, get. Yes. Okay. <laughs> God, I hate that part. I used to want to be a truck driver so bad, then I started driving more and often realized I hate driving. <laughs> yeah. You really got to enjoy driving and, lo and long road trips. I don't mind uh, road trips, but I don't, I don't know if I'd want to do it as a job. But there's a lot of advantages to it. Like, I kind of like being alone. 
I kind of like not having to work with anyone. I just kind of, you just kind of do your own thing. You do the shipment. You just drive, you're by yourself most of the time, right? All the time. <laughs> Used to be an O, but uh, too much stuff to do. Damn it, this thing keeps wanting to fall. Wait, this is not the right way. Ha, all these devils. Get out of here, devils. Ha, yeah. Oof, okay. Made 22, 220k a year. Oh, nice. Those are good numbers. Hell yeah. Where am I trying to get? Trying to get this way. Here we go. Beep boop. Those are, yeah, those are definitely good numbers. That's more than I've ever made, let me tell you. Most money I ever made was in the military. And it wasn't that much to begin with. <laughs> God, what was my base pay? My base pay was literally $7 an hour. When it was a private. That was private pay. Literal minimum wage. But all my housing and food, clothes, all covered. Crap, I didn't mean to do this, but sure. There we go. Get that loser. Yeah, come on. Uh, trio is done. Trio is done. Gas cloud. Okay, we got gas. That's cool. That's cool. From here, I'm going to go do all rocks. Can I get to all rocks from here? I believe so. Or wait. My brain is foggy. Can I get to there from here? I believe so. I'll make 50k here, 50k here, but I'm happier. Not so much being gone on months and end. Oh, yeah. That's got to be really tough. That's got to be super tough. Wait, I thought I had... Oh, I have gas cloud. I don't have form of mist. That's what I'm... That's what I screwed up. Okay. Damn, I'm having a brain fart. I can't remember if I can... Uh, oh, shh. Get wrecked. Ah. Whoa. That was a... Hello. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's got to be... Gosh, that's got to be hard. Yes, this is the way I want to go for sure. Damn it. Damn me, it's hard. Fuck. <laughs> God, that sword is so huge. Get it away from me. Die. You'll hear me say that often. It's so huge, get it away from me. Oh. Um, I want to say I'm going the right way, but I'm not 100%. Hold on. My sound sounds a little too high. Let's take it down to 10%. There. Maybe it's just... Uh, crap. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go back. Having a family and daughter that is seven that I missed the most of her life. That was the hardest part. Oh, that is tough. That is super tough. 
I hate that for anyone that has to be away from their from their little charons, from their babies. That is tough. Especially in those formative years. But you know, when you're when you're making the bread for the fam, it's just like you gotta do what you gotta do, right? And we applaud you for that. We applaud you for that. Big time. But that is excellent news that you are close to work. Sounds like you're in a much better place. Much better gig. Okay, let's do this. Give me a high potion with my duplicator. Yeah, here we go. Oh, no, this way. Okay, we can take that off. Uh, where did my Herald Shield go? There it is. I'll be right back. Working myself up to getting my tea shot so I have more tea in my system when I'm back. <laughs> right on. Hell yeah. You do it. Get that tea. Get that tea. If I have a pet and buy pure new pet food, I haul from them. Oh, cool, cool. I do not have a pet. I, I need to get... I need to get some pet. I need to get a kitty. Or two. Actually, I would get two kitties. Um, still not going the right way. God, my brain is just not working. I need to go back the way I came. Back to the chapel so I can go finish all rocks bullshit. Jesus H. God, he hits so hard. I have seven. What, one or three? <laughs> yeah, you have seven cats? Or seven pets total? Ideally, I would like two kitties and two doggies. I think that would be wonderful. But unfortunately, I mean, being single, living alone, it's really tough. Like, I really feel awful about leaving a dog, you know, at home while I worked. Well, I mean, not right now, because I'm not working. Freaking, my arm is busted. Oh, God! Oh, oh thank God she healed me. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, I'm going to die. Fuck! Thank you, Fairy. God, I love Fairy. She's great. Oh, Jesus, not again! I guess... Shit. Oh, did she use my potion? Oh, it doesn't duplicate from... Damn it. It sucks. Alright, I guess we're gonna eat some cheesecake then. Fuck. Damn, that's some good cheesecake. Alright, Fairy, I'm gonna have to turn you off. Because that was a shit move. You used my one freaking high potion. Damn it. All right, we're turning you off. Sorry, Perry. She got to go now. You're fucking up my shit. Seven kitties. That's so cute. I love cats. They're great. I love how independent they are. I, I, like, I feel like dogs are like children. Having dogs is like having children. Because they need constant, you know, constant attention. Always, always need attention. Can hardly ever be left alone. Oh, fuck. Get wrecked. That hurt. Yeah, sure. Let's see if this... 15. Garbage. Go back to cheesecake. Give me the cheesecake. That's better. Good lord, he hits hard. Okay, back to... 
Shield. Kitties need to be watched or they tear everything up. Kitties, yes, for sure. I feel like if they have, you know, they're good scratchy posts and things like that, that should be all right. But I know where you're coming from. Having, you know, if you have animals, they they all need to be watched. They all need to be well observed. Make sure they're not tearing up your your home and your livelihood. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. I hate this side of the map. This place sucks. Get out of here. Hiya. Mm -mm. There we go. Can you please die? Please die. God, got a lot of health. Ah! Can't get my Tetris spirit to work. Four of them are under a year. All oh, little babies. Little baby kitties. That's so sweet. Do you have a favorite cat of your uh, of your litter? Or maybe a, like a favorite breed. Um, just go cheesecake. Cheesecake it up. Oh, mother F. This is why we're eating cheesecake. One we call fluff butt. <laughs> I call every cat fluff butt. Little fluffy cuties. Ring of Varda. Actually Ring of Varda? Increase overall strength. <laughs> it brings down my attack a lot. So we'll leave this we'll leave that on. Actually, should we just like yeah, let's take off duplicator. We'll just use duplicator when we need to. Oof. Ooh. She's a medium hair tabby cat. Oh, tabby. I love tabby. I used to have... Um, my family cat, rest her soul, was a um, calico. She was a floofy calico. And she was just the most gentlest creature ever. We, she was a stray. She lived the hard life, like she had battle scars, piece of her ear was missing. So she was super happy to get off the street when we adopted her. And um, all she wanted, her favorite thing was just a warm lap to sit in. She just wanted to sit in your lap, and just chill and purr. That was her whole life, man. Yeah, poor thing. She's a medium hair tabby cat, the only one in the litter. And tabbies are only male, aren't they? Isn't that true? It, um, orange tabbies are only male cats. Or let's see. No, not true. I don't know where I heard that. Okay, I've checked all this. Oh, but I do need to put that back on. Forgot that I was still wearing the holy glasses. Ah. Ah, no. Why is my Tetra Spirit not working? There we go. Get him! Fuck him up! Take that. Take that. Oh, my hand doesn't want to work. Jeez. Ah, Ugh. Ah, yeah. Hurra. There we go. Get him. Get him. Yeah, we got him. 
Momcat is an orange tabby. They are rare, though. Ah, uh, okay. Just kind of more rare. Maybe that's what they meant to say. I love tabbies. They're so cute. Little, little, the gingers of, of kittydom. Cool. That was worth it. We got a tooth. All right, so now we're just looking for a uh, Degum. One more piece of lead, and we can finish the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get a saver in here. A saver roomie. Hmm. Still didn't do that mummy fight. Crap. Heck. All right. Hecked myself. That's okay. Well, ow! Fire boy. Get out of here, Gobby. Ah, hate these things. Oh, what's over here? Shit. Yeah. There we go. Go get them. Go get them. Thank you. Potion. Oh, good. A potion. Yes, that is good. You love to see it. Boom. Do I have wolf? Yeah, I got wolf. Mm, which way? Should I just go ahead and... Yeah, let's rush left. Let's go ahead and get the spine out of the way. Ah, ah, guardians. God, they suck. You suck. Uh. Oh. Okay, let's just do this. Oop, nothing over here. A pork bun. Ooh, I really want a pork bun now. Ah, shit. Ah! There we go. No! Ah, stop killing me! Oh, fucking hell. God damn it, they got me locked up. Fuck you guys. Fuck. Suck it. Suck it. Come on. Give me the juice. Give me the juice. Guess I should have just stuck with cheesecake, huh? Ah, this sword boy it's fucking with me. Fuck off. No! Oh, no! Fuck, I'm gonna die! Go oh, off, shit, shit, shit! I hate you all! Okay, potion's gonna take too long. Cheesecake. Give me a little cheesecake. Oh, god damn it! I hate these guardians. I fucking hate them. Uh, eat cheesecake! Eat cheesecake! <laughs> oh, fuck! 
Damn it. Ah! Those guys are so irritating. God damn it. Oof. God, I'm sweating over here. Got me breaking a sweat. Ah! Gotta be extra careful in this spot for this reason. These goddamn floor spikies. This place is so dangerous. Uh, excuse you? That's, yeah, that's the way to caverns. Don't quite just. Wow, oh, fuck! Um, come on, get on. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, I also forget that I can wolf transform. I can wolf jump. No. No. <laughs> okay, that's fine. It's fucking ass. Jesus. Just refill on the way. All right, here we go. Hi. Ooh, ooh. Off to bed. Cool, good night, Shia. Thanks for stopping in, and congratulations on your new job. I hope it serves you well. And we'll see you next time, hon. Give all those kitties good head pats before bed. Good kitties get head scratches. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Loves to hear it. Have a great night, honey. We'll see you next time. Resisting the fire. Okay, let's go do Critcha. Critcha. Nice. Easy game. Easy game. Okay, you know what? The hat's coming off. Hat's driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy! Garnet. Oh, okay. Cool. That is... Gold ring. Excellent. Excellent. No stats. Don't care. Now then... From here, we're going to go to caverns. To the cavern. Oh. Hmm. Good recovery. Oh god, can't get any traction. Um, we'll just we'll just beat feet. Hate not having bat. Bat makes everything better. Mm -hmm. 
jeweled knuckle. Oh, fuck you, bone boy. Get out of here. I love these skulls. They just look so cool. Okay. This way. Come with me if you want to live. Um, jeez, this way. Oh, fucking hell. Haha, -ha, we cheated it. Yay. Dog jump. Dog jumping works. Ah, shit. There we go. Get up. Ooh, ooh, homemade biscuits are the best. What the hell are you doing, Alucard? There you go. Get up there. Come on, sweaty. Oh, shit. No, no. There we go. Okay. Whew. Mercy. All right, doppelganger two. Let's go, homeboy. Uh, excuse. Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Fuck. Fuck out of here. Not Alucard. I suppose I could have used a stronger sword, but it's Forable Blade, why not? Oh, jeez. I swear to God, if you bat smash me one more time, I'm going to be upset. There we go. Another F. Rude. Give me, my, give me that health. Alright, we have over 300 health. We're good. Should be totally good on health. Here we go. Uh, what the hell? No. There we go. That's more like it. I guess we can slice these guys. God, they're tough. I'm just a little underpowered. A little bit underpowered. Cuba Zoe. All right. Well, that's a thing. That's a thing to get. Maybe we can find a clock now. Stopwatch. Ah, la la. Mm. No, this is not working. Here we are. Just gonna have to do it the old school way. Just murder, murder them. Dash, 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 shield and dashing and dashing and shield. Dracula tunic, you don't say. Not here. Oh. Oh, it's an axe knight. <laughs> uh, troll. Troll. Oh, wait. You know, I realize that I've, I've had a duplicator this whole time and I have not been. 
throwing infinite infinity stars. What am I doing with my life? Show me the throws. Right, okay. One oh seven. Nice button. Do 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 do. Magic missiles. Ross Shuriken for ninety three. That's pretty good. Ooh, Javelin's 118. Buffalo Star, 98. I can, yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's switch it on up. I think that's going to be the T. All right, this is going to hit a lot harder. Yes, very nice. Okay, and that wasn't literally a Chris Graham. It was actually a Vorpal Blade. So, tricked, got duped. Oh yeah, I got. I can check. Uh, <clears throat> start checking candlesticks wow nothing here awesome uh, right 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 let's go let's go mark 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 No, no. Ooh, let me out. Thank you. <laughs> let me out. Fast circle it. Holy damage. Don't see much of that. Spaghetti. We got a nice spaghetti. Grr, die. <laughs> These bitches make me so nervous as they hit super hard and they will. Totally stun lock me if I get stuck in their vines. Here we go. Bring my biscuits closer. I need some biscuits. Oh, excuse you, rude. You can all collectively suck it. Ha, oof. Like I said, suck it. You know what? I'm going to get the safe spot up here. I'm getting bullied by these Simon and Garfunkels. Yes. Mm -mm. Homemade biscuits are delicious when you make them at home. Ah, it is death. There we go. Come on back. 
So I can wreck you some more. Easy. Easy. Where's the echo? Trash. Jeez. All right, I guess we'll go. To, I guess we'll do this. Oh shit. And then. Ah, rude. I suppose I'll head back to the first castle after this fight. Um, just haven't done Anubis yet. Trash. Shouldn't even bothered, but whatever. Go ahead and get this open. Okay, she's open. Ah, shit. Come on. Alucard, what are you doing? There, jeez. Do your job. Hello. Thank you. Medal. Is this just all sellable gems? May absorb damage. Okay, I already have that. Sellable ring. Ah, shit. Yeehaw! Going deep caverns. Pass up these cuties. Hi cuties! Bye cuties! I like how they don't literally attack you. You're bullied by a goddamn bat. Fucking walk off! Fuck off, bat! You can all get wrecked. Get wrecked by shurikens. Okay. Not bad. Oh, actually it is bad. Ring of ours is way better. In fact, wait. Um, Is it sunrise yet? No. It is not. Not even going to look at that crap. Not even going to look. always do that. That room is nothing. There's nothing there. Stop going in there. He's this way. Um, yeah, let's do a save. <laughs> because this fight sucks ass. Ooh, I feel a headache coming on. Mm. Is 
Is this cross shuriken better than buffalo shuriken? Hello, where is it? That's weird. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. No. Gotcha. We good. We good. All right. Save it up. Fact. Let's check our equipment. Oh shit, don't tell me I didn't get the... Mm. Damn it. I didn't get the, the hat that... Uh, I was supposed to buy it in the library. I must have run out of money. All right, we'll try it like this first. If we get wrecked, then yeah, we'll do a save state. If I get wrecked, then I'll uh... twenty-eight damage. Jesus, Christmas. Yeah, you know what? Fuck that. That is total shit. Total shit. Let's go back to my. Blade. Mm. No, that's executioner. Where did the, the crystal gum go? Hi, doll Tish. Can't say what to pop in and show some love. Oh, thank you so much, honey. I super appreciate that. I am doing well. All things considered, I'm doing a okay. And I hope you're doing well too, my love. I heard that you and Tooth are about to do some binge TV showing. So I hope y'all have fun with that. Have fun with, uh, was it Love Robots? Love, Death, and Robots or something? I hope it's awesome. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, and we're going to take this off. And put on a ah, moonstone. Moonstone is good. Yes, that's good. Yeah, that's the one. It's really good. Very excited. Rock and roll. Well, tell me all about it when you come back. I need to. I need to check it out. Uh, Tooth was telling me to to give it a look. See, so yeah. We're going to do just that. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, stop doing that. Wrong button. There we go. Four damage? What the actual fuck? Why is he so resilient to my shit? Okay. <laughs> I think you'll love it. Yeah. I'll have to give it a look for sure. It sounds like it's right up my alley. All right, let's go back to uh, Jesus. This one back to fifteen. This one, wait, fifty-five. This one's very hard. Okay. Oh shit! Uh, duplicator, fine. I'm a ghost. I'll speak to you soon. Have a great night. You too, Daltish. Have fun. We'll see you next time, honey. <laughs> The uh, crash shirt. Oh no. Buffalo Star. Yes. Oh man. Mm, I don't like it. Mm. 
Knuckle Duster has 104 damage. Red Rust 92. It's a two-handed sword, though. Hmm. This one's going to be kind of tough. Magic, uh, magic missile so slow though. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll put that on. Block and knife is ninety four, so that's kind of cool. Or throwing speed. Let's try javelin. Maybe we'll well, Maybe we can just like spam the crap out of these two. <laughs> uh, okay. I might just skip this fight all together and be like, screw it. <laughs> and throw two of those at a time. Alright. Let's give it a shot. No, oh, get out of there. Why do you always get trapped in the lightning? God damn it. I'm gonna have to go back to the library just to get that fucking... Let's get that card. I don't have enough transform for this either. If I can get him stun locked, that'd be fucking. It's McGee. Oh yes, get back in the wall. Yes, now we're talking. Fuck you. Hell yeah, we got him stun locked. Get wrecked, you oversized piece of shit. Whew. So much button mashing. Uh, so much mashing. I spit on your grave. I spit on your grave. Hey, yeah. Hooky dokey, what have we got? Let's find out. Nothing. I did all of that for nothing. Ah, no. I am so cheated right now. I feel so cheated. All right, library time. Mother F. Just so daggum rude. Dinosaur! What's going on, sweetheart? Hugs! How you doing tonight? How's your Freaky Friday going? I'm just getting down with some Castlevania randomizer once again. Okay. Oh, wait. I want to sell gems. Oh, I got all the gems. Holy crap. Got all the gems. $79,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Um, got. <laughs> Got me in a prism. Lamerang. I got three library cards, so that's cool. Foods. Walk and knife. I have walk and knife. Resist the holy potions, hammers, smart potions, monster vials, balls, and swords. Get stronger when bloodied. Oh. I do know what that is. But that's fine. We don't necessarily need it. Knuckles for uppercuts. Transforming. Oh, yeah, jewel sword. We already got that. Right. Iron cudgel. Dark shield. 
fire shield. Heals HP by lightning damage. See, that would have been so useful in the last fight, but whatever. <laughs> what you gonna do? Fire lightning. Fire mail. Strong versus fire versus attacks. <laughs> Don't think there's anything else I need. There's blood healing ability. All right, yeah. <laughs> Strength 15. Total trash. Okie dokie. That's that on that. Now, holy glasses. That's the only other check down here. That's gonna make me. You're gonna make me do logic. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> well, at least Vorpal Blade's okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, fuck off, books. I don't want to learn today. I don't want to go to school, mom. Brr, 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 ah. Oh, what's up here now? Strength potion. Okay. That's cool. Maybe we'll use it right for Draculia. All right, so. Going up is going to be the T. So let's jump into our teleporter and head over. I guess all rocks would be the quickest way to get there. <clears throat> the all rocks teleport. Not you, but you, yes, the goat. Bark, 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 yaw, decent, decent, Okie dokie. Here we go. Aha. Well, this dude's taking a lot longer than I wanted to do. But, what you gonna do? Not exactly a speedrunner. <laughs> I'm a speedy runner. Nope, not you. This way. Uh, what you got for me? Golden cloak. Mm, nope. Nope. What? Demon card. Oh no. Mm. 
So I have to go back to first castle. Uh. Guys, you know what? I'm over it. <laughs> I am over it. I'm over the seed. I don't want to go back to the second castle. I don't want to do anything. Four checks. I only got five checks left total. But I'm going to be real honest with y'all. I don't care. I straight up don't care. My back is itchy. I got a headache. I need to make dinner. I was really hoping that that would be the last piece of Vlad, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, meh, we're done. We are done here. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna find someone to raid, and we're gonna raid them. So I can go get my Din Din. Let's see who is on. We'll go show some love. Uh, not many people that I actually know. None of my cool kid friends are on. Well, tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to cut it. We only got one streamer left, so <laughs> I'm going to call it a night. Uh, so thank you for tuning in, y'all. Um, sorry we didn't finish the seed tonight. I'm just, I'm over it. I'm super over it. We're, we're done. We done here. We're good. <laughs> I feel I feel like I got my fill of the game. So uh, again, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Um, love you. Super appreciate it. Uh, until next time, be kind to yourselves and be kind to each other. We'll see you next time. Bye, fam.